So that's awesome. Victory rehabilitation. You get to rehabilitate my talking ability. <laughs> Good having you on the Georgia Game Developer Association live stream. All right, tell us about victory rehabilitation. So uh, victory rehabilitation. Oh, okay. Am I looking there? <laughs> yeah. Uh, victory rehabilitation is a uh, we're a physical therapy group actually, and a lot of times you may not think of uh, uh, technology and gaming uh, with physical therapy. Uh, I, uh, when I was asked to to sponsor, um, I, I've grown up on games <laughs> and love so any opportunity I have. Um, but I actually get a lot of patients who come in from. Uh, carpal tunnel uh, and also long periods of sitting and uh, uh, there's actually a diagnosis now uh, tech neck where people get pain all through here neck shoulders um, just from <laughs> long periods of doing what you love to, <laughs> to do and so uh, it, that and low back pain as well um, but we also get a lot of carpal tunnel if you're spending a long time uh, typing and so we can do things to help uh, with tendonitis, with muscle soreness, with uh, um, just to kind of get you back to doing what you want to do longer and, um, and, and giving back to us who enjoy <laughs> using what you're designing. <laughs> so. Excellent. So for those of you who are long-term viewers of this channel, it doesn't mean you've been sitting here all day, but in the past you've seen we've had Northside Hospital come on because they've got their eSports practice, and we've done their exercise and often stop our streams in midstream and make you do the exercise. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to have Victory show us some simple neck and hand exercises. You ready? We can do that. All right. So these are the Victory exercises. <laughs> so I, I think the first thing is if you're sitting at a computer, a lot of times you're sitting here or at a gaming system. So the uh, first thing we can do is work on pinching your shoulders back. And so as you pinch your shoulders back, kind of like you're trying to uh, hold on to a dollar bill <laughs> to, um, to between your shoulders, um, that will help bring your posture upright, take some stress off of your neck. Uh, kind of along with that, uh, you can tuck your chin back. So uh, people always say, oh, I'm trying not to get a double chin, but I want you to, to go straight back like that to try to, <laughs> to try to, you don't get double points for that, or triple points for that, but uh, to, to try to work these muscles that help keep you up. Uh, next easy one to do is if you grabbed your head and pulled over to the side. You should feel a nice stretch here. Um, it, you're not trying to rip your head off, but you're just kind of <laughs> loosening up uh, to keep that strain off of your neck. Those simple things. Both sides. That's right. Um, if you took a break every so often and just did a couple of those, that would it would save you a lot of uh, a lot of pain uh, in your neck. I'll show you a couple for your wrist as well. Um, you can just take your hand and grab it and straighten out your arm. Um, you're going to feel a nice stretch through there. All the muscles that do this or this all attach right there, and so we're getting a good stretch through there. Uh, and that. Uh, just here and there, if you could do that, that would save you a lot of uh, tension and pain in your wrist, actually, so, and forearm. Excellent, excellent, very good stuff. So one of the things that's interesting is uh, when we work with Northside, they talk about the age variation in their customers. You get into rehabilitation, you think you're going to be doing older customers, but it's not. So what's the range of customers you deal with? So my youngest patient right now is actually under one years old, uh, <laughs> um, a one year old. That's right. <laughs> um, and I have patients that are 99 and everywhere in between. Um, we do really see a lot of people coming in now with, um, like I said, uh, like tech neck or looking down on your phone, looking at a computer for a long time or, or gaming system um, to where we're seeing that younger and younger where it may have been where in kind of older and you've you put in a lot of work now you've put all in a lot of work <laughs> as you're younger so we treat all ages um for a variety of, diff of different things i think uh with with my clinic um and i, I was part of a bigger group with a, in a large setting uh we have individual treatment rooms so it's one-on-one -on -one kind of with your therapist it's not in a big open gym full of people and um so with that it gives you a little bit of privacy but it also kind of lets us treat anybody and everybody in, in a in a good safe environment and a, uh, where you feel comfortable <laughs> i think so now one of the fascinating things about therapy is people think it's like you've been paralyzed you're gonna take five years of therapy to learn to walk but that's not usually the case how long are your average patients visiting you for what's the what's their usual stretch of uh, therapy so 
I mean, uh, usually you're looking at four to six weeks, uh, maybe coming in one to two times a week. Uh, uh, you know, it depends on the injury. I, I do um, some tr manual treatments that uh, people walk in and, and uh, they come back the next time and say, hey, I don't need you anymore. I feel great, you know. And, of course, if everyone was like that, I'd have <laughs> a line down the street. But um, so we have some things that resolve quickly. Um, we have some things that may take a couple of weeks. But, it, yeah, it's not a where I need to see you five times a day for, for – you know, a year or anything like that, usually. Um, and I think what we always try to do is set up a home pr program as well to where you can, if you continue on with the exercises, it's something that'll last you for a long time so you won't have to keep going into doctor's <laughs> visits and everything. And the last part of this is what we've also set up with Northside, and I know that he does as well, is it's not just those physical exercises. There's also a nutrition component. There's a sleep component etc what are a couple quick tips you can give folks because this is the part you give them when they're at home these are what you need to do sleep's a big part of it the food's a big part of it be it around caffeine or be it around hydration or be it around just general diet tips what do you generally recommend well i think you know everyone would tell you to get good sleep uh, make sure you're drinking plenty of water for uh, hydration um i think uh, one of the biggest things i face is is uh don't it, it, we're all going to get in a position. Nobody sits up straight and everything like that all the time. Uh, <laughs> and But I, I think the big thing, especially, uh, uh, is to not stay in a position so long. Get up and walk. Um, you know, we see, we've seen a lot of uh, standing desks kind of becoming a big thing. Um, but uh, what I heard someone the other day say uh, sitting is the new smoking mm -hmm. as far as uh, – kind of how it what it does to your body so if you are you know do what you do enjoy it but but take breaks you know stand up stretch out do some of these quick stretches um, and not stay in that just prolonged just here uh, for so long and I, it, it, that would really help you out so excellent that five minute break every uh, hour and 15 minute breaks every few hours all right great stuff from victory thank you very much